He was jailed three days ago, but the diplomatic rumblings over the stern Hu sentence continue. In its latest salvo, China has accused Australia of making irresponsible comments over its secretive handling of the espionage case. But Australia has fired back again, calling on China to make its legal system more transparent. As Stern Hu contemplates 10 years in this Shanghai prison, the diplomatic fallout over his case goes on. Australia was initially critical. Parts of his trial were secret. China hit back. Australia should respect this outcome and stop making irresponsible comments. Australia's Prime Minister isn't letting it go, with this pointed message in return. I would say to our friends in Beijing, however, that... Uh, the responsible course of action is to ensure uh, that your judicial process is transparent. One of his backbenchers, the chair of a parliamentary committee, has gone even further with this assessment of China's response. In an attempt to uh, um, bully Australia, and Australians should stand on their back legs and say, no, this trial of our citizen Stern, who was not fair, Kevin Rudd is a former Australian diplomat to Beijing and fluent in Mandarin. There have been high expectations about his influence with China. This case has revealed that Kevin Rudd has nowhere near the influence that he claimed he had with the Chinese authorities. Whatever it thinks of the treatment of Stern Hu, Australia also has its important trade relationship with China in mind. Sales of iron ore to China are about to deliver a potential bonanza to the Australian economy. Australian iron ore miners are expected to make billions in extra profits after the world's biggest producer, a Brazilian company, won a 90% price rise for its iron ore. It's a very good outcome compare with uh, uh, market expectation previously. And certainly that reflects the confidence of the market in terms of the economic outlook. His bureau expects a record next financial year of more than $35 billion worth of Australian iron ore sales to China. Peter Donald, ABC News, Canberra.